let's build a very traditional warrior one. Once you have these warrior postures, the traditional versions down pat, um, it's always fun to add some variations, but let's build a strong, steady, classic warrior one first. Find yourself about the top third of your mat, your toes, your torso, your hips, your shoulders, your gaze, everything straight ahead, and begin to engage your powerhouse. So a little bit of a lift and zip of the core muscles, that's your center of gravity, it's always gonna help with balance. First time back, maybe place your hands on your hip creases so you can feel what's happening in your hips. Put a little softness in your knees, now we have room to move. On your next inhale, step your right foot back, but angle it out about 45 degrees. Your hips are still relatively square, and it's completely fine as you get comfortable with these postures to glance down, what are your feet doing? And you can play with that angle, you can play with the distance between your feet. Your left knee, so that front knee is tracking over your ankle, mindful to avoid sending it out and beyond that ankle. It puts a lot of, a lot of stuff into the knee joint there. So notice your feet, make them heavy. It's as if you could push them away from each other. Feel your legs come to life. Your hips are still tracking relatively forward. Might angle a little bit, but we're really trying to draw that right hip a little bit forward so that it's facing the top of your mat. Mindful to keep this nice, strong zip in your belly and shift your hands to heart center. Pause here. Are your feet still heavy? Are they pushing? Are they very anchored? You can keep hands at heart center or traditional warrior one arms. We can take them up. So really lengthening spine, lengthening side body, big reach, crown of the head growing toward the ceiling. Warrior one. To come out of this, sweep your arms down, return them to heart center. Let's create space for the legs to move by lifting onto those right tippy toes. Give a little bend in your knees and then step right foot up to meet the left. Now let's explore the opposite side. You can keep hands at heart or once again, you can bring them to hip creases so that you're mindful of what are your hips doing here. Soft bend in the knees. Next inhale, let's step the left foot back. It's gonna step back at about a 45 degree angle. And that is um, an approximation. It doesn't have to be exact. There's a bend in that right knee hovering over the right ankle. Your hips are square-ish. Your feet are heavy and pushing. Belly is engaged and zipped. And then let's rise up from here. Hand to heart center, steady gaze. Find your drishti straight ahead or maybe straight ahead and a little bit down. See what makes you feel the most anchored. Once the low half of your body feels nice and steady, you might choose to take your arms up and overhead. Once again, fingertips reaching, spine growing, belly engaged, steady breath, steady gaze. To step out, sweep your arms back to heart center. Give that lift onto the back tippy toes, a little bend of that left knee. Step the left foot up to meet the right. Warrior one.